Hi guys. So this week's vlog is all about the zombification of fitness. Now, what am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about the normal routine that happens when you go into a gym, just a normal high street gym, especially a big chain gym. And they go through the typical workout. You go with to see your fitness instructor and they go through this workout with you. And basically what it normally means is they shove you on a treadmill or they shove you on a bike or they shove you on a cross trainer or maybe even all three. Um, they put you on to that and they put you on, first of all, let's talk about fat burning mode. They put you on on a, on a cross trainer or something like that. They put you on that, which is basically slower than a walk if you're working in the fat burning zone, especially if you're uh, new to fitness. Um, you can be in the fat burning zone pretty much moving really, really slowly. So that's the first thing you do, you get your treadmill, choose your TV station, Make sure you've got the sound on, make sure that no one can talk to you. So you've got your earphones on to make it clear to everyone that they shouldn't even be looking at you, let alone talking to you. Uh, do that for about 20 minutes or so. Nice ambling pace, maybe read a magazine. And then you shoot off that and you think, oh, I'm gonna do some weights. So they've been put you down. You sit down on your pec deck machine or your leg extension machine or your bicep curl machine. So you get yourself nice and comfortable, nice and seated again. Spend 15 minutes just going around the machines, working at a comfortable pace you might finish with a little bit of stretching a little bit of core work uh, and there you are you're done and that's your workout now i've got a few problems with that first of all you're not working at any degree of intensity um, so you're not really getting any, any metabolic um, change during that training you're sitting down for mo if you're doing the bike first of all if you're doing the bike for your cardio session and then you jump on the, all of those seated circuit you see in all gyms there's like a little circle of machines that you can work your way around sit yourself down and move the peg up um, you're basically going to be seated for your whole day i mean if you've got a sedentary job you commute in so you commute on the train you're sitting on the train you then sit down at work all day then you get to the gym and you sit down again and then you get home and you sit down again um, absolutely terrible for your posture, terrible for your fitness, terrible for your health. Um, I mean, training yourself to be in a seated position isn't great. So get yourself off anything that involves sitting down. The second thing is without that intensity, you're just not getting any, any improvement. You're not really going to get any uh, fitness. Improvement. You might do if you're at no fitness to start with, you might get some minimal improvement there. So uh, maybe if you want to get a bit of confidence in your fitness, there is some benefit, I suppose. For the strength stuff as well, you're not working, and you're only working really one element of fitness, which is, I suppose, the strength side of it. You're not working any coordination. You're not working any power development. There's just so much you're lacking in that. No midline stability is required when you're sitting on a machine either, so you're not working your core, which is why you need to then go and do a long core session at the end. Um, basically pretty much wasting your time to be honest with you I mean I suppose I shouldn't really say you're wasting time because anyone who's going to the gym is doing something positive with their life and they're, they're sort of making an effort to try and get fitter but I blame it on the people that are running those gyms that they're not trying to push the boundaries to you because they want you to be so safe and so independent is that I think the most important thing that they don't have to spend any time with you at all they, I mean, you know, if you go to a techno gym gym, you've got a little key, so they definitely don't need to see. You can just plug that key in and there you go, there's your seated workout for the next six weeks um, and they won't even need to touch you. Um, and that's basically the philosophy I, I tend to see in a lot of gyms. They want to get you in, they want to sign you up on a long contract, they want you to train on your own. The less you train for them, the better because they can keep their gym, they can keep filling it, filling it, filling it. I mean, a normal gym, a normal high street gym is going to have well over a thousand members in there. And trust me, you know that they're not there all at one time. Maybe for the first two weeks of January, you might see it busy, but you're definitely not seeing those members that are paying every single month coming on a regular basis. Um, but that, you know, as a, as a gym owner of those small gyms, that's great. You know, you could just basically keep cashing in, keep cashing in, um, and uh, you know, just churn them through, which I suppose it's because they're cheap. They are offering some degree of, um, of value if you use it. But the problem is most people, they're not going to find the motivation to train. And because you're not going to see great results when you're doing that kind of workout, you're really not going to see improvement. Your best bet if you're in one of those gyms is to get a training session with a personal trainer there. Uh, there's plenty of good personal trainers, I'm sure, working at those gyms that can help you out and set you on the right track. And at least they can set you a program where they're making some effort into 
sort of trying to challenge you and set it specifically for your needs rather than just shoving you around a normal weight circuit. Uh, the other thing I've got a problem with in terms of the, the whole fitness, um, the normal, I suppose, the big brand gym philosophy is, and it's a bit like life, I suppose, people just, they want to be in their bubble, they want to have their headphones on, God forbid that you talk to someone in one of those gyms because they think you're an absolute freak, okay? So, you know, if, they, if someone's got to take an earpiece out of their headphones, they are going to freak out. So... Um, they're not building any kind of community. It's not really a place that you're going to think, oh, yeah, I can't wait to get there and, you know, see so-and-so and so forth. It's not a social environment. It's a place where you go. It's like a hamster on a wheel. you just got to sort of grind it out. Um, and it suits some people. Some people love that. They can just go there, get in their own zone, focus, um, and, and do a good workout in a gym. And I'm not going to sort of criticise, you know, anyone that's doing that. But I just think for the standard person, it's very difficult to, to build a long-term fitness program when you're just shoved on the treadmill and you're shoved on a hamster wheel and just churning and churning away. And then when you've got no social reason to go there either. So it's kind of like, you're almost punishing yourself. Like, oh, God, I've got to go to the gym tonight. And we don't want that feeling. You know, I want people to come in and, and people that come um, to my CrossFit box, uh, they're all, they come away from it happy because not just because They've had an intense training session where they're really seeing development, but um, I think probably more importantly, they're having fun when they're there. So they're meeting new people and they're having a laugh and we're playing you know, some fun games in the warm-ups and stuff. Um, and you know, they're celebrating their, their development with other people. And I think that's really important uh, for your fitness. Um, I know some people try and share their fitness development in the gym. I mean, if you're just posting pictures of yourself in the changing rooms doing a duck face, that is not sharing your development with other people. That is just, I don't know what it is, I'm not going to say. Uh, but basically, you want to find yourself something that's a passion and that really drives you, rather than just going to the churn of the treadmill. I mean, the classes in the gym, that's a little bit of a step up, obviously, because you have got instructors who could challenge you there, and hopefully there'll be some kind of social environment. But even when you watch some of those classes, because they're so fast and so methodical, you know, if you're doing a aerobics routine or a Les Mills program, you're following that by numbers. So um, yes, it's going to, you know, sometimes the instructors can make it fun, but you're not really engaging with the rest of the people in that class because it's so intense, you've got to be so focused on what you're doing, there's no engagement there. So try and find something that's going to get you socially engaged, that you're going to really try and measure your results on, you can see yourself improving. So sports obviously go to that because you can actually see yourself improving through that. Um, Obviously, I'm going to say CrossFit is great for that as well, or personal training is great because you can see your improvement there because hopefully your trainer is giving you some kind of measurement of fitness in there. And if you are in a gym and you're, in a, and you're, in a, you have, you're on a tight budget, then just once in a while, just try and get a session with a trainer there or find, a, or find someone who's qualified to teach you for free. Maybe if you've got a friend who's a, who's a, who's a personal trainer who will come and train with you a couple of times, just find some way to break out of that sitting down on the machines, that scrolling around on the hamster wheel sort of movement when you're training, because that's going to help you get a lot more progress than the standard gym workout. Okay, guys, I hope that helps. That's just me venting for the day, um, and I'll speak to you soon.